Hello, this is Heavy T of Heavy T and Big R of Real Music Reviews. May have uh, everybody out there once again have a Merry Christmas. Eric Arsenal, thank you so much for your support once again. Um, Philander, shout out to you real quick. Big R, happy holidays out there in Chesapeake, Virginia. Um, hope you are having a very good Christmas. Shout out to Brandon who won a championship down there for Oscar Smith High School down there. You need to show off that ring, bro. Um, Mama Ruffin, Big R. <laughs> but this right here is going to be the music review starring Jamie Foxx, Keisha Coles, and Anthony Hamilton. Big R mostly did this one, and I'm going to let him start speaking now. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays once again. God bless y'all. Peace. What's up, YouTubers? This is Big R. Um, I'm doing this music review for December 16, 2008. Um, CDs I'm reviewing today. Keisha Cole, A Different Me, Plies, The Realist, uh, Soulja Boy, I Soulja Boy Tell Him, and Anthony Hamilton. The point of it all. And so much good music came out today it's actually my second time doing this um, recording this music review because the last one was just like 20 minutes of me trying to give you a, a good thorough view so I'm gonna actually speed it up keep it short simple to the point for you um, so I want to jump right into it right into it Keisha Cole her album a different me it's really uh, it's a really good album um, I give it a three and a half out of five um, it is a different um, perspective of Keisha Cole because she really developed her voice. Um, it's it's very it's very different from her past albums where she's done a lot of you know just soul singing, not necessarily um, perfecting her voice. I guess just a lot of growth in her voice, and that's all I'm trying to you know say. I love Keisha Cole, and she. Has a lot of um, even though she's reached you know a, a you know a superstar level, she still has a lot of potential. And she, you could just hear her growth over the albums. Key song for me, um, "Erotic." I love that song. You'll love it too when you hear it. I know the title is kind of risque, like ooh, but <laughs> it's nothing like that. It's it's a it's a good song, classy song, very classy album. It's soft, nice. It's you know, it's a really good R&B album. Three and a half out of five. So let's me go to Soulja Boy Tell Him. Um, really not a Soulja Boy fan, but this album is really good. Uh, so I did give him a three and a half out of five as well. Just a lot of random songs. It's like, um, <laughs> just some silly songs on there. And I'm just like, wow, what did you just stay up in the studio late at night and just come up with random things? Which is good, you know, because you have to have that that in, ingenious ability to be able to just come up with random stuff and just make it hot, and that's what he does. And I applaud him for that. Um, very, it's a very, it's a very different album. I mean, not for him. It kind of sounds like a, it sounds like a mixtape to me. It's kind of reminiscent of his old albums, but at the same time, you know, he does keep it. He has some new anthems up there, and. Um, you got a part two to, um, She Got a Dunk. It's another song that's similar to that. So, um, yeah, his album, it's gonna be a lot of new dances coming out, so be prepared. Um, get on your YouTube game and learn those dances, cause there's gonna be a lot of them. <laughs> Just to let you know. Next we have Jamie Foxx, his album Intuition. I don't know if I mentioned that, um, at the beginning of this video, but... Jamie Foxx, Unpredictable, his first album was a classic R&B addition um, to the world of music. Just a good album, and so I was expecting a lot for this album, Intuition. And he, you know, he did put a lot of work into this album. It followed the same scheme and went from like club hits to like slow bedroom songs, which is, you know, not bad. I'm not, I'm not complaining at that. You do your thing, Jamie Foxx. Do what works for you, and um. I mean, I, I do kind of feel like the fast tracks were kind of commercial. Um, they had some... Uh, he kind of goes into the auto-tune thing, like the thing that um, T-Pain and Kanye um, has been doing. So I was kind of like, 
I guess you know you gotta stay current so I don't blame you but uh yeah it features Lil Wayne Kanye West the dream um who am I forgetting oh uh Sean Sean Garrett I believe but regardless uh no not Sean Garrett I apologize but they're um you know so, T oh T Pain T Pain yeah so hot tracks there but then from track number seven to track number fifteen it's on like Donkey Kong it's time to get it popping turn the lights off light the candles got some slow songs and they are hot it made the album it saved the album four and a half out of five people yes the slow songs are just doing it for me the interlude is the seventh song and you know when an interlude is hot the album has to be hot like come on so um get into that then we have next anthony hamilton and his album is called the point of it all his single was called cool with david banner and uh, when you hear the first song it's called the news it's like Yo, this album is just gonna be crazy. Uh, just a great album. Um, besides the song he did with David, with David Banner, I really didn't like the song. It was kind of like, I don't know. It's just not a good representation of the album because the album is so soulful, just so neo soul. Uh, it's, it's just so good. Um, every track, front to back, even the the song with David Banner, it's just the album is just good. I'm sorry. So I definitely, dun, 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 album of the week, give him a four and a half out of five. Great album, Anthony Hamilton, the point of it all. Please go cop that. Now I want to jump into Plies to cut, you know, to um, cut this off. Actually, a surprising review because I'm, I'm really not into Plies as an artist. Um, but he's a good man. He's um, articulate, you know, well-spoken, um, and... I don't know, he's a, he's a really good man outside of the music because the music kind of leads you astray of, you know, really, like, if you see if you see him in interviews, he's really, he has a uh, a big heart. He's very well-spoken. Um, he's in my area, donated a lot of money for kids for Christmas. Good man. This album is called The Realist, and it really surprised me because I'm not into him, at, at, you know, musically, but um, the only real thing I can say about his music is that it was kind of like, um, it was like the transitions in the album, basically. Um, he went from, like, songs that were, like, um, you know, like, beating down your block. Then it was, like, club songs, and then it would go into a slow song. And, I mean, it, it kind of go, it kind of flows, but then it will go back into, like, a lot of deeper songs after that. After the song with Ashanti, it goes into deeper songs. And then it's, like, this one deep song where he talks about his mom, uh, his grandmother, um, being sick and his aunt having AIDS and his brother being locked up and his sister being pregnant by some um, you know older guy and she's like underage and it's like wow it, the song was so deep it almost you know it was making me emotional like it was bringing up a lot of you know emotions and I was like wow this is a deep album and then right after that it goes into yeah sorry I gotta get this hoe um I got, I'm taking this hoe out tonight um I was just like whoa like hold hold pause pause for a second like i'm sitting here about to cry because all the stuff is going on um it's the song is called um family straight he's trying to get his family straight and now you're talking about some you gotta take something home like really though so transition needs to be worked out but otherwise good album good lyrical content um hot beats hot tracks um so he he has sean garrett on his album um, with the, you know some other artists, so I give his album. I do give his album a four out of five. So, what did that tell you? This transition. I mean, that was really the only thing holding him back, but it did make a big difference to me. So, uh, yeah, that's my music review. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if, um, if you know this is helping out. If it's informative, and I'll let Heavy T, um, um, Heavy T and me. Give you some hot reviews next week. Christmas time is coming. And um, hope you're having safe holidays. And I will see you next week. Alright. Signing out. Peace.